Hey guys, welcome to Medifaction. Today, let's learn about the physiology of spermatogenesis. So what is spermatogenesis? It is the production of sperms from the primordial germ cells. So in order to learn more about spermatogenesis, let's get started. In this video, I will be enumerating an introduction, stages of spermatogenesis, spermiogenesis, spermiation and also the factors affecting introduction spermatogenesis is the process by which the male gametes called spermatozoa or sperms are formed from the primitive spermatogenic cells or spermatogonia in the testis it takes 74 days for the formation of sperm from primitive germ cell. Throughout the process of spermatogenesis, the spermatogonic cells have cytoplasmic attachment with sertoli cells. Sertoli cells supply all the necessary materials for spermatogenesis through the cytoplasmic attachment. Stages of Spermatogenesis Spermatogenesis occurs in four stages. Number one is stage of proliferation. Number two, stage of growth. Number three, stage of maturation. And number four, stage of transformation. So, number one, stage of proliferation. Each spermatogonium contains diploid number, that is, 23 pairs of chromosomes. One member of each pair is from maternal origin and the other one from paternal origin. The 23 pairs include 22 pairs of autosomal chromosomes and one pair of sex chromosomes. Sex chromosomes are one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. During the proliferative stage, spermatogonia divide by mitosis without any change in chromosomal number. In man, there are usually seven generations of spermatogonia. The last generation enters the stage of growth as primary spermatocyte. During this stage, the spermatogonia migrate along the sertoli cells towards the lumen of seminiferous tubule. Next is stage of growth. In this stage, the primary spermatocyte grows into a large cell. Apart from growth, there is no other change in spermatocyte during this stage. The third stage, stage of maturation. After reaching the full size, each primary spermatocyte quickly undergoes meiotic or maturation division which occurs in two phases. The first phase is in this phase, each primary spermatocyte divide into two secondary spermatocytes. The significance of first meiotic division is that each secondary spermatocyte receives only the haploid or half of the number of chromosomes. 23 chromosomes include 22 autosomes and a X or a Y chromosome. Second phase. During this phase, each secondary spermatocyte undergoes second meiotic division resulting in two smaller cells called spermatids. Each spermatid has haploid number of chromosomes now. Fourth stage. Stage of transformation. There is no further division. Spermatids are transformed into matured spermatozoa or sperms by means of spermiogenesis and released by spermiation. Now let's see what is spermiogenesis. Spermiogenesis is the process by which spermatids become matured spermatozoa or sperms. Changes taking place during spermiogenesis are 
condensation of nuclear material, formation of acrosome, mitochondrial spiral filament and tail structures, removal of extraneous that is extra volume of non-essential cytoplasm. Spermination Spermination is the process in which the matured sperms are released from sertoli cells into the lumen of seminiferous tubules. Now let's see the factors affecting spermatogenesis. Spermatogenesis is influenced by number one, sertoli cells, number two, hormones and other factors. Now let's see in detail. What is the role of sertoli cell in spermatogenesis? Number one, supporting and nourishing the germ cells. Number two, providing hormonal substances necessary for spermatogenesis. Number three, secreting androgen binding protein, which is essential for testosterone activity, particularly on spermatogenesis. Number four, releasing sperms into the lumen of seminiferous tubules. The role of hormones in spermatogenesis. Spermatogenesis is influenced by many hormones which act either directly or indirectly. So, some of the hormones necessary for spermatogenesis are follicle stimulating hormone, testosterone, estrogen, luteinizing hormone, growth hormone, inhibin, activin. Let's see in detail about all these hormones. Follicle stimulating hormone. So, follicle stimulating hormone is responsible for the initiation of spermatogenesis. It binds with sertoli cells and spermatogonia and it induces the proliferation of spermatogonia. It also stimulates the formation of estrogen and androgen binding protein from sertoli cells. Testosterone Testosterone is responsible for the sequence of remaining stages in spermatogenesis. It is also responsible for the maintenance of spermatogenesis. Testosterone activity is largely influenced by androgen binding protein. Luteinizing hormone. In males, this hormone is called interstitial cell stimulating hormone. It is essential for the secretion and of testosterone from Leydig cells. Growth Hormone Growth hormone is essential for the general metabolic processes in testis. It is also necessary for the proliferation of spermatogonia. In pituitary dwarfs, the spermatogenesis is severely affected. Estrogen Estrogen is formed from testosterone in sertoli cells. It is necessary for spermiogenesis. Inhibin. Inhibin is a peptide hormone and serves as a transforming growth factor. It is secreted by sertoli cells. In females, it is secreted by granulosa cells of ovarian follicles. Its secretion is stimulated by follicle stimulating hormone. Inhibin plays an important role in the regulation of spermatogenesis by inhibiting follicle stimulating hormone secretion through feedback mechanism. Follicle stimulating hormone secreted from anterior pituitary induces spermatogenesis by stimulating the sertoli cells. It also stimulates the secretion of inhibin from sertoli cells. So, when the rate of spermatogenesis increases, there is a simultaneous increase in inhibin secretion also. Inhibin, in turn, acts on the anterior pituitary and it inhibits the secretion of follicle stimulating hormone leading to decrease in the pace of spermatogenesis. Activin. Activin is also a peptide hormone secreted in gonads along with inhibin. 
The exact location of its secretion in testis is not known. It is suggested that actin is secreted by septoli cells and Leydig cells. Actin has opposite actions of inhibin. It increases the secretion of follicle stimulating hormone and therefore it accelerates the spermatogenesis. Role of other factors in spermatogenesis. Number 1. Increase in body temperature. Increase in body temperature prevents spermatogenesis. Normally, the temperature in scrotum is about 2 degrees Celsius less than the body temperature. This low temperature is essential for spermatogenesis. When the temperature increases, the spermatogenesis stops. It is very common in cryptorchidism, that is, undescended testis. In cryptorchidism, the testes are in abdomen, where the temperature is always higher than that of the scrotum. High temperature in the abdomen causes degeneration of seminiferous tubules and stoppage of spermatogenesis. Hope you have understood the video. Like, subscribe and press the bell button for more videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching.